Hello, sports fans and football fans. Yes, football season, it seems like it's on the way. I mean, the draft has already happened and the NFL schedule has come out for every team. But today we're going to talk about the Bears schedule in 2024. And we're going to take a little in-depth look at it. And I'm going to go through the schedule and tell you, as a Bears fan, whether I think they will win or lose each of those games. Now, there's a couple of caveats to attach to that. Uh, the first one is, there's a lot we don't know about the Bears, how they're going to play. We don't know if Caleb Williams is going to come out of the gates as a really good, accomplished quarterback like C.J. Stroud did last year for the Texans, or whether he will struggle in his first year, as other quarterbacks have, most notably John Elway had a bad first season. Um, so did um, Peyton Manning, and those two are in the Hall of Fame. And uh, also last year, Bryce Young had a very bad season coming out of the gates. So if he has a bad year, obviously the Bears are not going to play that well. My assumption is going to be that he's going to play fairly well at least to start the season and that he'll get better as the season goes on. So we will you got to bear that in mind. The second thing is you know that I do my picks every year. I do my picks. But I don't want people cross-referencing this video with my picks each week for the Bears because as the season goes on and kind of going back to what I said about Caleb Williams and really it applies to the Bears as a team, you you could see that they're playing worse than you thought they would or you could see that they're playing better than you thought that they would. And you, you can see that better in a week-to-week -week, uh, basis as the games keep getting played. And so you can make a better assessment in the moment whether, uh, you know, the Bears are going to win any particular game that's coming up you know, the next week. Right now, I have to, I'm just looking at the entire schedule without having seen the Bears play anything and just telling you just off the top of my head whether I think they'll win or lose. There's also, uh, we will go through as the games, uh, we, as we go through the games, we will talk about the significance of some of the games in Bears history. Um, and we will also talk about some significance, personal significance, that some of these games will have um, in my own personal um, history or my own personal life. So, uh, without further ado, let's get on with the game. Now, the first seasonal game, as you can see, will be September 8th at 1 p.m. The Bears will be at home against the Titans. They open the season at home against Tennessee and in this game I am going to uh, I'm going to say that the Bears are going to win this game uh, I the Titans are an inconsistent team they were inconsistent last year they were hard to figure out whether they were going to win or not and as I said um, the Bears drafted Caleb Williams they drafted a, a wide receiver um, they, uh, they improved their defense. In fact, they were in the top 10 in defense in the second half of last season. So I think the Bears are much improved, but I, I, I don't see anything that tells me the Titans would be. So we're going to give them a win there. And we're going to say they're 1-0 after one game. The next game, they are on the road against the Texans. Now, as I mentioned about the Texans, they have C.J. Stroud. He is very good. They had a very good offseason. They made some good uh, moves in the offseason. So I think the Texans are going to be a real tough team to beat. And this game is going to be in Houston. So we're going to give a loss to the Bears. And we're going to say that they're 1-1 one one after the first two games. Now we're going on to game three, September 24th, 1 p.m. against the Colts. Now the historical uh, significance of this game is that the Bears played the Colts in a Super Bowl. They lost to them, but they did play them. Um, I believe it was 2005. And um, so anyway, they're playing this game against the Colts in Indianapolis. Um, even though they're, this game is in Indianapolis, I think the Colts are another team. I don't really, I don't get the sense that they're a dominant team, that they're really good. 
I think that they've got uh, they've got some issues, and they're an inconsistent team. We're going to give the uh, Bears a win on that one, and we're going to say they're two and one after three games. Uh, on they go to the next game, where they um, are um, uh, at home against the. LA Rams. Now the LA Rams are a good team. They're a good team and they are well coached and uh, they've shored up their offensive line I think to help Stafford. Uh, They're a tough team. The Rams are a tough team even though the Bears are at home for this one on September 29th. I am going to go with the Rams and I'm going to say that we're two and two after four games. Because remember you know we're we're factoring in that the Bears were a, a sub-500 team last year. Uh, you can't really just completely write that off, even if you think Caleb Williams is going to make the team a lot better. Next one we have is the Panthers against the Bears. The Bears are at home October 6th at 1 p.m. Easily I'm giving this one to the uh, Bears. As I said, Bryce Young had a rough first year, and we don't know that he's going to have a good year this year and uh we don't know that they did anything to help bryce young in the off season so i'm gonna say i'm gonna give that one to the bears next one we have is the jags playing the bears at home uh well actually the bears are listed as the home team but i believe this is a, a london game so really nobody is a home team here even though the bears are the uh presumptive home team um, I am going to, and, and the personal significance of this one is that, uh, my second cousin is a, a Jaguars fan. So, um, I'm going to, this one, it's, it's a tough call because both teams have to travel to London for this. Um, uh, I'm, you know, and it's the Bears, the Bears have had this recent bad history. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the Jags the win here. So I'm gonna say that the, uh, I'm gonna say that the Bears lose this game in London. Now the next game, the Bears are on the road against the Commanders. Now you know that the, the, uh, this is gonna be the matchup of the first two picks in the NFL draft. The Bears, having gotten Caleb Williams with the first pick overall. And then Washington, <coughs> excuse me, haven't gotten um, Jalen Ramsey, I believe his name is, with the second pick overall. So uh, the game is in Washington, but still, I'm going to give this one to the Bears. I'm going to say the Bears win this one. So if you're keeping track at home, we're four and three right now, according to the Sportsman Z. The next game we have is the Bears in Arizona against the Cardinals, November 3rd, 4.05 game. I think the Cardinals are still in disarray. I don't think that they're ready to start being a uh, a winning team just yet. Um, Even if Kyler Murray is back to being Kyler Murray, um, I still don't see it. Um, And I think the Bears, like I said, the Bears are much improved. I'm going to give the Bears the win here, even though the Cardinals are at home. I'm going to say they're 5-3 after eight games. Which brings us to a home game on November 10th at 1 p.m. against the Patriots. And of course, if you know your history, you know that this was the game that the uh, the Super Bowl, this was uh, a Super Bowl matchup where the dominant Bears team that had that great defense that had Singletary and uh, and Richard Dent and uh, it had uh, the Fridge and Walter Payton just dominated the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Um, and the Bears are at home here and the Patriots are just, I think the Patriots are a mess. I don't think the Patriots are going to be good at all. So we're going to give the Bears another win. We're going to say that they're 6-3. and three. After nine games. Which brings us to the Packers game. Now, here's another caveat I'm going to give you. And first of all, I want to point out that in this schedule, the Bears don't have a divisional game for the first ten games of the season. 
So that's kind of an oddity, and the only other team that that applies to is the Steelers. The Steelers and the Bears are the only two teams coming up in the 2024 season that don't have a divisional game in the first 10. But this one is, it's the Packers, and the caveat I'm going to give you is that if the opponent that the Bears play is a reasonably good one in the division, and all of the other ones are reasonably good, uh, I'm going to at best say that there's a split with the team because it's very difficult for any team to beat any other team uh, twice that they happen to play twice or more with the playoffs in a single season. So this one, the Bears are at home. I think they can split with the Packers. I think they definitely, at the very least, can split with the Packers. I'm going to give the Bears the win in this particular one. That doesn't mean that they would win the game in Chicago and um, uh, and lose the game in um, you know at the Packers um, at you know at Lambeau. It might be the other way around, but just because the Bears are home here, we'll give the Bears the win. Um, so that brings us to the next game and the very next, the, actually the very ne- the three games in a row here because they don't play a divisional game the first ten. They've got three in a row here that are divisional. And that's the Vikings at the Bears. And the Bears lost, um, they lost uh, Cousins this year to the Atlanta Falcons. Um, they've got, um, They've got a, a guy that they drafted that I think they're going to rely on. And again, those are those are wild cards. You know, um, Caleb Williams is, um, uh, Jalen Willi- Jalen Ramsey is. So they're all wild cards. Who knows? Um, I'm so this is another one where I'm going to say that at the very least we're going to split with the Vikings, and since this is the home game for the Bears, we're going to give it to them. And so now, as you can see, we're up to 8-3. Eight 8-3 and, three. Eight and three now. But we've got some games coming up that are going to be tough. Uh, the next one is the Thanksgiving Day game against the Lions in Detroit. Now, this game is in Detroit, and Detroit is very good. And as, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to give you a little preview before the end of the se- before I get through the entire schedule. I'm going to say that the Bears will probably lose to the Lions twice. I think both games, very potential that they lose both games to the Lions. Definitely the one um, in Detroit. So we're going to give that one to Detroit. And now you've got the uh, now you've got the Bears at eight and four after uh, twelve games. And now the very next game, they're on the road against the 49ers, December eighth. And this game has a a personal connection to me because my cousin Matt is a uh, 49ers fan. Uh, this game is it's in San Francisco, and um, it's going to be a tough one. The 49ers are a very good team. They're always in contention to be in the Super Bowl or in the NFC Championship game recently. So we are going to give that one to the 49ers, and now we've got the Bears at eight and five after 13 games. Um, is that right? 13? Because it doesn't look like we've got... Huh. It does not look like... Um, well, anyway. 8, 13, 15, I, I don't know. Uh, the next game we've got is the day after Christmas, and that is against the Seahawks. My brother is a Seahawks fan, and um, the uh, Bears are at home for this one. Again, the Seahawks, they really don't spend money. They didn't really do that much in the offseason, and they weren't that great in the, um, uh, you know, in, in last year. So this game is an 8-15 uh, p.m. game. Um at home against the Seahawks, I'm going to give the Bears the win. So that's their ninth win. They're nine and five. And that brings us to the Packers game. We've got the uh, Packers. We're playing in Lambo, and I, I said that I would split with a decent team. I think the Packers are a decent team, 
we give them a loss there. Now, here I've got it as uh, 15 games. I've got them at 9 and 6. So let me take a quick look at the schedule and see if I'm some uh, tally marks here. But anyway, uh, you can see based on this schedule who I think is going to win. And so those are my thoughts. Um, let me know what you think uh, at, uh, at home. Let me know if you think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, it is 17 games. So I'm, I've got the Bears at at least nine wins for um, 17 games. So um, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.